Hi, this is Carissa again with Umaki. We're going to be continuing our Rasterlink series. Today we will be going over monocolor. This is a way to use a raster image to be able to uh, build a special plate and use those special ink colors that will follow the gradients or the density of ink that you see in your images. As you see here, I have quite a few different black and white images in um, in my queue for the JFX 200EX. So the, what I'm going to show you today is exactly how you build textures and it is also how you um, ensure that you can use a raster image. So as you see here, this is this white leopard. Um, a lot of the time you see this um, in our showrooms. And I'll show you what the original image looked like. If you go over here to properties, you'll see that in the job attributes I have it as a monocolor. It was an originally a black and white image. See here. So when you click monocolor, the job attribute will come up and then you will be able to choose. So what I'm doing here is I'm telling the machine everywhere you see black ink, I want you to put white ink or I want you to put clear ink. And if you'll notice, if I push white, I'm going to push OK. Now this essentially becomes a special plate using white ink. You'll see here um, under the attribute that it is turned to white and my job attribute here now says monocolor. So then when you go to look at the image for printing, I'll increase the size here so that we can see it a little bit more. You can see over here where that image is going to follow where that white ink is. I'll show you what that parent file looked like. See here, this is the black and white image that we used. So that white ink is going to follow all the gradients and all of the shadowing in that picture. So now I'm going to show you using this oil painting. So I really like using this because this allows us to build textures for this oil painting where once you get done printing it and you feel the texture of the, um, the piece of material, it actually feels like the ink um, has built up and this is a real painting, which is very cool. And if you see down here, I have a gradient to show you that the monocolor is actually going to follow the density of color that you have um, versus black and white going to right and left here. So what I did in Illustrator is I made two layers, one that is the color layer and one that is the black and white layer. And as you see, the areas of this image that have the darker black colors is where you're going to get more white ink where you have the white areas, there will hardly be any ink laid down. So when we are looking at the color layer, see in these areas right here where the white is, it looks like that the paint in this original painting has um, been built up. That's what we're wanting to do here. See right along this area here in this ridge line, the ink is very um, is going to be very saturated and it's going to um, give us that appearance of a real painting, especially right here also with the dark areas of black. That is going to be where our ink is going to build up the most and give us the textured effect that we're wanting. So I've brought both of those images into Rasterlink over here. as you see down here. So here is my black and white and here is my color. And
and here is my black and white. So again, I'm going to go to Job Attributes. I'm going to click Mono Color. I'm going to say wherever you see black ink, I'm going to want white ink or clear. Either one of these you can build texture with white ink or clear um, depending on what you're wanting. White I usually build for underneath color and clear I build for on top of color. So I'm going to push OK on the white ink. As you should, um, should see my attribute over here is going to turn white and I'm going to hold down my control button and click both of these together and again coming over to composition again at the bottom here is our material we are going to want white and then color and then you can compose those together So I'm going to release those and we can concentrate just on the black and white. As you see, those are going to be really great areas that uh, that white ink is going to cover. I'll show you some more Again, black and white image, monocolor, black. Say we want the paint of this car to be clear. We're going to push UV mode and push glossy. We're going to push OK. and the attribute will come up clear and glossy. Now everywhere that that um, car was black will now have clear gloss on it. Now you can also build textures say with this white ink or this clear ink if you're wanting more than one layer of ink you can do that by going over here to the color profile and you're going to add overprints. So if you want three overprints, four overprints, um, then you can build the texture that way. All right. So let's go through and we will talk about like we're going to build this oil painting texture underneath it. So first thing I'm going to do is hit control and we're going to once again come um, here to our composition. Now we're going to want more layers to lay down on our white than our color. You have to be careful sometimes if your priority policy is speed it's going to put both of these together. If you hit quality these two will actually print separately. That way I can make um, this one print five or six overprints without having my color overprint at the same time. So when I hit composite, if you'll see the output order changed, it is going to print the white first and then come back and print the um, color second. This will allow us to go into our color profiles and when I select the white layer I can choose to overprint that five times and if you notice the white is overprinting five times to build a texture we're wanting but the color is still um, only putting down one layer of color and it is not overprinting five times. If you do not click this priority policy of quality and yet you do speed then when you go to overprint something it is going to overprint the color as well as um, the special color which is why
or clear. So be sure when you are compositing those together and you're wanting to build texture to make sure that you are clicking quality instead of speed. Then when you print this, of course, it is going to lay down the five layers of overprint white and then it will come back and print your color. It's always good to make sure that you composite these together when you're printing. That way um, it is uh, still accurate. All right, so we'll come in here again. So you will go to properties. You will hit job attributes, monocolor, black, white or clear. Again, if you're going to put clear, you can change the UV mode here, whether you want it to be gloss or embossed or things like that. And when you do emboss or gloss, you can also, um, especially when you're doing emboss, you can change how many overprints are here as well. We're just going to put gloss. We're going to push OK. Again, that will turn into a gloss special plate. Thank you for joining us today about the monocolor. Again, all of this stuff is explained in your Rationlink user manual. And we'll see you for the next video.